I want to share an experience with you that was remarkable. It was something that happened to me over the last few days, and it, it was one of those moments that you have in a life that occurs so rarely that it allows you to see through the way you are and understand the way it is to be a child, to be younger and not to be an adult. Um, I was visiting a large corporation in the Midwest, and I had arrived, I was picked up to go through uh, to a meeting at 8.30 in the morning by one of the project directors. And this is a company that hires, that employs some 19,000 people. Very, very substantial company. And in the area of um, the, the largest amount of people, people live with these little office dividers. They, they, it's one big enormous room and everyone has sort of a cubby. And you can't really see over the cubbies, and you can't really tell where you're going. And this person was taking me through to go to a place. And as I walked across with her, I became aware of the fact that we were taking corners in this labyrinth that after a few moments I realized I did not know where I was. I wasn't sure where I was going or how to get there. And I felt completely dependent on this other person. I hadn't felt dependent on another person like that for years. I, I, I remembered something when I was three in a stool with my mother looking up from a, a very low height, trying to get my way. But here I was, not able to look over the office dividers, feeling completely isolated, trapped in a labyrinth, and completely dependent on this other person. And I felt... Of course, I could ask anyone if I got lost, because everyone was friendly there, but I felt a wave of anxiety come over me. It lasted maybe about two seconds, but it was a primitive anxiety. It was the fear of a child who did not know his way. A younger David, lost in the world, not sure about myself. And I said to my friend, I said, Karen, you better not leave me, because if you go, I'll never find my way home again. And we started laughing about that and talking about it. But you know, that's what dependency is about. You give up some part of yourself to another person. I didn't have time to learn my way around this place. I was being escorted. And the powerlessness, the feeling of weakness, the uncharacteristic uncertainty about myself, while well, it was only a few moments, woke up in me the whole issue of dependency, which has never been particularly characteristic of my style of life. But I just began to see how difficult it is when we trust someone else to take care of us. The extent to which you use other people's expertise and you give them the responsibility for your life is also the measure of your potential anxiety. You see, anxiety is the expectation of loss or injury. And if someone else is responsible for you, you begin to wonder, are they paying attention to what I need? Will they be on the lookout for me? And will they act in time to keep me from being hurt or getting lost? The answer is, if they're your mother, they probably will if you're really young. But if you're a little bit older, there's no one who's really going to be looking out for you. The other person is always looking out to make sure that they're all right. In this world, there are very few things you can be sure of. The beginning of trusting yourself and the realization that you are the only one who is ever going to take care of you, who is ever going to really be interested enough in the details of your life to find out what's really bothering you and to solve the problems, is you. Being dependent on another person for your well-being also makes you suspicious any time something happens where you feel cheated. If you're not giving yourself what you want, you're cheating yourself. And if you're dependent on someone else to give you what you want, you think of them as withholding. That's not the way it is. If this other person who was walking me through this maze, this labyrinth, started walking faster, and it was at the moment that she did, that I began to realize I could be left alone here. She was not abandoning me. She wanted to get to the meeting a little more rapidly than I was because I was preoccupied at that moment with the whole sense of the potential of being lost. You cannot be lost if you live in your center and you take responsibility for your life. You cannot be lost if you believe in your own strength and do everything you can during your life to be stronger. You cannot be lost if you tell the truth. 
You cannot be lost if your object in this life is to become independent and as the best you. Being dependent on other people is always a sign to grow stronger and be your best. When you hold on to other people's protection, you also inhibit your own strength to be yourself. I'm David Vista.